Felix Sabatis is no stranger to stadiums like this one. He's a millionaire businessman and a fixture in the Charlotte sports scene. But it's his past that makes his current success so remarkable. Deshaun Brown shows us that as just a teen, when he left his home in Cuba, he wouldn't let memories of poverty and oppression dictate his future. I don't take no for an answer. Felix Sabatis has never been one to follow a script. Now a businessman in Charlotte, Sabatis has had his hand on nearly every major sports franchise in the city. With ownership ties from the Charlotte Hornets to NASCAR to Checkers Hockey. And this is from someone who couldn't afford to go to a game. No, I didn't. I didn't have a dollar. So I snuck in the back by the loading dock. And one day I said to myself, Joker, one day I'm going to walk this loading dock. I'm going to own something here. S seriously. But his climb to prosperity didn't start here or with riches. Instead, as a 15-year-old boy running from Fidel Castro's Cuba. We were from a small town uh, called Camaway. And... We were somebody in that town. And then Castro took over in 59, and it came to a dead stop. What changed? The government changed. The government changed to communism. Sabata says he personally witnessed families, including his own, lose everything they had, including their lives. They call it paredon. And what it is, they put them in front of a wall and cover the eyes and shoot them. And if I have not gotten out, I've been dead because everybody in my group is dead. So his father sent him to the United States alone with $25. He sent instructions later. In one day, I got an envelope that thick from him. 14th of May, 1964. His words were stern, but his pen gentle. Here's a good one. In it, he described what he expected and needed from his son, who was now a father himself. But from you, I demand perfection. From you, I demand leadership. Every page peels back another layer into the man he's become. Put it in writing and check mark every time you accomplish where you put yourself, where you put yourself in that piece of paper. His checklist is long. Entrepreneur, sports owner, multimillionaire. And that's for someone who never finished the ninth grade. The same teenage boy with $25 to his name. But in life, I have a guiding light. He was my guiding light. For Queen City Overtime, I'm Deshaun Brown. Incredible. Next week, we'll have more inspiring stories you'll only see right here on QCOT. Remember, you can always watch on WSOCTV.com and our apps on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with more.